Good afternoon, boys and girls. The customer brought this mower in. He uh, complained that the blades weren't engaging when he pulled the PTO switch up. Okay, so he went out, bought a new switch, put it in, worked for a little while, and then stopped working. So then he upgraded the fuses to 30 and 40 amp. I think they're supposed to be like seven or five or something like that. Um, and then got another switch. Put that in, that lasted about 30 minutes. So I got a couple of switches, a couple of fuses. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so this switch should have 12 volts going to it um, when the, the key is in the run position. And you should hear the electromagnetic clutch click. I don't hear anything, do you? No, it's not coming on. There should be a hot wire when you put it in the run position. Okay, and that's gonna be our red wire over there. And see that blue wire? That blue wire goes all the way down to your clutch. So when you pull this up to engage, voltage, it's just a switch, it's nothing more than a switch. Um, the voltage goes from the red wires to the blue wire and then the blue wire like I said will carry that 12 volts all the way down to the clutch engaging it okay so we'll go ahead and turn the key on and we should have constant power to the red okay so that red's got power now I have my test light on the blue wire pull the switch up key and run position nothing clicking no light we still got 12 volt and then we'll take it one step further and verify that this switch is is bad let's go ahead and steal that connector and then popping this switch out um, can be tricky but you just take a pair of pliers pinch in the ears and uh, and push up to test this switch, all you need to do is mark where that power wire came from that connector and which prong it went into. In this case, it was this one, okay? And when you put your uh, meter on continuity, so whenever it completes a circuit, um, it'll beep. All we care about is that this 12 volts needs to go somewhere, okay? So we flick this switch, it's just a very simple switch. Continuity needs to go somewhere. Check them all, it is not going anywhere. That power has to go somewhere. If that power cannot, cannot leave this terminal, well, I guess that's all she wrote. Okay, so what we can do is, we can actually be the switch. So we know we want 12 volts going to that blue wire there but that switch isn't allowing us to get power from here over to here. Let's go ahead and jump these. We'll try and hear it with the chainsaw running in the background. So I'm gonna hook up to my power side. Okay. And remember, this is a jumper wire, so be careful. And then we'll turn the key on. We should hear the, uh, the clutch. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put an amp clamp around here. We're going to see how much damn juice that thing's drawing. I bet it's above three. Okay, we got our uh, current clamp hooked up here. I'll try and do this quickly. It keeps popping my 15 amp circuit breaker. Can you see that in the back? 0 0.182. 0 0.182 millivolts. That's hot. So that is uh, that is 18 volt, 18 amps, 18 amps of current flowing through a little piece of plastic. You could argue that this test alone verifies that the clutch is internally shorted, um, but just to be sure, let's head down to the clutch, uh, ohm that thing out, and it's probably going to have really, really low resistance. So we'll just go ahead and ohm this clutch out. Just one little connection. 
disconnected. Um, not very fun to disconnect, but you'll figure it out. So we're gonna want about 2.5 ohms of, of resistance. And that's not very good. I don't know if you can see that. That's 0.7 ohms. That This clutch has an, inter an internal short. So it's gonna be drawing too much amps. There you go, go ahead and pull the clutch. All right, so that pretty much wraps it up for this video. This mower needs a new clutch and it needs another switch and a couple of the appropriate size fuses. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch y'all next time.